Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this video. We're going to go ahead and check out how to FTP to your GoDaddy managed WordPress hosting. Super, super simple um, process and I'm going to show you here. Right now I'm at my GoDaddy My Account screen where you'll see all of my products. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and manage, click the manage button to go into our managed WordPress. But you'll see that I have a basic version of Manage WordPress. So when I click this Manage button, it's actually going to take me directly into my WordPress dashboard. It's just how Manage WordPress works. It just wants to put you in the dashboard. But sometimes when you're ch making changes to like a child theme or something like that, uh, you may want to make alterations. Uh, there's other videos I have on the php.ini or .user.ini as well. You may want to make changes to those. Uh, the .ht access is another really popular file that you'll you'll want to update. Um, but for what we're going to do, we're just going to keep it pretty basic for this video and show you how to use that FTP. Um, FTP file transfer protocol. In case you didn't know, now you do. Uh, there's various different kinds on the market that you can get. I happen to use Transmit, and that's what you'll see here is Transmit. Um, I'm working on a Mac. Uh, Transmit is for Mac. I'm not sure if they make one for a PC. Uh, but if you are using a PC, a very simple FTP program to use is called CyberDuck. Uh, so we can check that out. If you don't have one, just go ahead out to your favorite search engine. Mine is Google. Uh, so cyber duck uh, whoops and then do a quick Google search for that and you've got HTTPS cyberduck.io and uh, that's how you download it and it'll give you different options here um, if you want uh, either Windows or Mac depending on which one you'd like you can go ahead and uh, and download those um, I'm not going to download it because I already have an FTP program, Transmit. I use it. I love it. I've uh, been using it for quite a few years, actually. I, I, did, I have a purchase copy. Um, so uh, back to our WordPress so that we can use these FTP programs. We're going to go ahead up to the GoDaddy head here in the middle, and then we go back to Account Settings. Now once you get into the account settings screen, you'll see that you've got two different boxes here. Um, I've got my you know, We Connect websites, and then I've also got this uh, Manage WordPress here. Now that you have two buttons that come with your Manage WordPress Manage, uh, that come, that'll take you back into your WordPress dashboard. And then we also have settings. When you click on settings, this is where you get all of your options for the actual WordPress. So we'll Go ahead and wait for this pop-up screen to load here. And uh, Manage WordPress is something that a lot of uh, GoDaddy has a lot of control over, which is good for some people. Um, it's good for you know running running websites uh, that you don't make a lot of updates to. Um, so this pop-up you got all kinds of options here. You can add or change your domain name. Uh, you've got your backups here. You've got DNS, SSH and FTP. This is what the one we want, SSH and FTP. We've got database and we got remove site. But for here we're going to go back to this SSH and SFTP and uh, we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste these values in here. Just do a nice copy and a paste there and then we'll do a copy here and a paste there and now for this you're gonna have to uh, for the password you're gonna have to go ahead and toggle that and then it'll show you the password you can highlight and copy that and then paste it into your FTP program now you'll notice here I'm using SFTP and that's how you're going to have to connect to manage WordPress because there's different kinds of FTP or file transfer protocol and in this case we're using SFTP which is a secure file transfer protocol what that means is 
when you log in you're actually logging in securely under an SSL that's provided by GoDaddy an SSL is something that encrypts your passwords and usernames as you go ahead and, and use those passwords and usernames um, SSL is a great thing to have on any WordPress website just because you have a login and password every time you log in to your WordPress itself also SSLs will have uh, positive effects on your Google ranking as well so if you don't have an SSL you may want to pick one up they're relatively inexpensive for the amount of return that you can get so um, with that we've got all of our username password we're using port 22 through standard FTP you use port 21 through SFTP you use port 22 and that's already filled out for me there and the program already knows I want to use SFTP as you can see that from right up here in the uh, in the menu bar there and then I just click connect and once you click connect it's going to go ahead and log you into the server and now you can see all of your WordPress files here here they are so uh, we talked about HT access file that's this file here I don't happen to have a .user.ini file here but uh, you can always add one I may add one later but this is just a you know a demo site uh, you've got your WP content here you've got your plugins folder you got your themes if you ever have a plugin issue uh, one way to disable your plugins you can just relabel this file you could even just put a dash in front of it and that by doing that that disables every plugin inside of that folder so that lets you just disable them so you can try and get into your WordPress dashboard if you're having an issue um, you, I want to go ahead and change that back and that's uh, that's how you get into your FTP if you wanted to download one of these um, files you can um, you don't really need to download it you can always just open them up with a text editor um, but we'll save the text editor for another video so that is how you SFTP into your managed WordPress if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the section below uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have I'll also leave uh, links to um, not only transmit but cyberduck I'll also leave one to a program called FileZilla that's another FTP program it's not my favorite it's a little bit more robust got a lot more buttons makes it a little bit more confusing to to operate but uh, but I'll make sure to leave that link in the description below alright well thanks again for watching much appreciated and uh, please subscribe and make sure you catch up with all the newest videos